Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. We've got PS5 Disc Edition today to have a look at. Customer says HDMI port is a little bit squiffy. So first thing I'm gonna do is get this turned on, make sure it does actually power up to a white light. The port doesn't look damaged. It's good enough to plug it in. So let me get some power and a HDMI and we'll see what we've got going on. HDMI plugged in first, just in case we get any back feed. Power next, we'll turn it on. As you can see, let me get a blue light. I'll wait for that to go to a white light. Right, that's gone white. Let's just switch over. And as you can see, we've got no image there. Hopefully that is the port. Get it unplugged. Get it taken apart, have a look at that port on the inside and fingers crossed, it's a simple swap. To get these lids off, all you do is lift one corner and push the opposite way. We don't need a hammer. Anyone that uses a hammer is, it's not fantastic. There you go. So the side we're interested in is this side. We can see it's not been messed around with, which is great, that's what we like. We'll lift this bit up. We'll get that screw out there. And we've got lots of screws. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, I believe, on the top to get the top off. And the fan screws as well. So what we'll do is just start getting those undone. A little top tip for you. Don't take the screws out if you're unsure of how they go back. Fairly easily, just at 120 degrees. Just gonna give this a bit of heat. Come in with my tweezers, and as you can see, that comes off nicely. Get that undone. Wiggle that out. Get that one undone. I am going to take the fan out. That fan's quite dusty, so we give that a good blowout before it goes back to the customer. And as you can see, the heat sink is also quite rotten. So this does need a good service before it goes anywhere. And then we go, we've got the mid frame out, all the screws are still in it. Just find somewhere to rest that where the screws don't pop out. This console is quite dusty. So before I do anything else, I'm just gonna get the air uh, the data vac out and give this a good blow, get rid of some of that dust. There we go. Much better. The next job we need to do is just get through this black marker here, pull this clap clasp out, being very gentle with the ribbon cable. Drive removed. Customer has put their own SSD in here, so they obviously do like to play a lot of games. Try and keep this as neat and tidy as possible, but they are paper, so they will tear. Get this ribbon out of here, this ribbon out of here, get those disconnected. Now we've got a series of silver screws that are all around the perimeter. It takes forever to get them out. Top tip, just mark with a Sharpie everywhere a silver screw goes. That should be all of them. If 
reference the bit I'm using is a T9 security bit. By security bit, that just means it has a little hole in the middle to allow it to slot into the screw. There is one black screw which just goes here. You can take that one out. It's longer than any other. Should be able to remember where that one goes. But if it makes your life any easier, put a bigger mark. Right, all of our screws are out. What we now want to do is get this plate off. It does feel a bit stiff, but it will come off, assuming we have all of the screws out. Just double checking. And there we go. It's just stiff because of these thermal pads here, but that's fine. And then we've got two cross head screws here. Get the clamp out of the board. They are nice thick and chunky screws so you shouldn't need to mark those and we've got one clasp here to undo that's quite a chunky one so this one if we just grab that press in on the clamp just be very gentle removing that at this point i use a little spatula just going to remove this because it does belong to the customer and I don't fancy hurting their drive. And then the board will start lifting. Be gentle, don't go full ham on the board with some gentle persuasion. Now, here we go, this is something to talk about. PS5s are notorious for this dry spot on the die. We will correct that, it's, it's not uncommon, it just, happens to every playstation 5 for whatever reason but we'll um see what we can do with that right we're at the business end of the console now this is the hdmi port this is what we're interested in we're going to get under the scope take a look see what's going on fingers crossed there is no rip traces the ports are notoriously terrible on the ps5 from factory so hopefully it's just a simple swap We'll have a look under the um, under the scope, see what we've got going on. Just give these a little nudge test. None of them seem to be broken, but that's not to say they're not. They could be broken internally. So I'm going to swap this port out to start with and see what we've got. To swap this port out, I'm just going to heat from underneath. I've got my hot air. I will use no nozzle. The hot air station we use is the Atten 862D. So I'll set that around 430 with lots of flux, heat from underneath. Get that old port off and see what we're looking at. Fingers crossed. As I say, there's no trace damage. That would be worst case scenario. So I'm going to flood this old port with flux. Bring in the hot air, grab my tweezers at the same time. Gently heat from underneath the boards, take a lot of heat. So just give it some time. Keep the hot air moving. Solder is starting to go molten, but we're not ready yet. There we go. While the board is hot, get some more flux on that. Bring in our soldering iron with a nice big chisel tip. Being mindful of that little cap, it doesn't matter if it comes off, it doesn't actually affect anything. I want to make sure that old solder and that new solder are really mixed. You can, if you like, whip this off. I find as long as there's a good mix, you don't necessarily have to. Come in with the hot air, clean up where we've been, some 99% IPA. Good, nice and clean. We want flux on all of those pins. The ground legs, we want to heat, and you should see the solder go molten. Should be a lot quicker, there you go, because we've mixed that old solder with the new stuff. 
got our one new port here so to install that Now that should be in place. So we'll get you back on the overhead. We'll have a look. We'll give that a test. Make sure all of those pins are where they need to be. So we're back on the overhead. That seemed to go okay, but we need to get back onto the scope and have a look, see if all of those pins are soldered down. So we'll just give these a nudge test. And fingers crossed they're all soldered into place. And they all appear to be that's fantastic you can if you like um, I don't tend to have much trouble a lot of techs will then run over these with uh, soldering iron on the PS5 because of this cap it's extremely difficult to get in there and I don't necessarily have an issue with not running over them it's personal preference you can you can't it's completely your choice what's more important for me is these ground holes need to make sure those have really held on and they appear to have held on i'm just giving this a clean and hopefully you can see let's have a look at the other side of the board yeah as you can see i think what we'll do put another bit of flux on there come back in with the iron being careful of the components on the back here really let that iron soak in and heat soak these ground pins they do take a lot of heat maybe more than I can give them with this tip get that tip changed for the big boy there we go cleaning 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 nine tenths of a good job is how clean can you leave it now I'm good with that get back on the overhead and let's get this partially assembled enough to test it and see what we've got let's get this set back down get these ribbon cables home We'll bring in HDMI, bring in some power, just hold this fan for a second because it does kick, will it work? We've got a white light, perfect, so we have an image this screen you're seeing because i didn't shut down the ps5 beforehand and we got a splash screen that's fantastic so i think now what we can do we can take this board back out we can unplug the hdmi we can get this torn apart again sort out that liquid metal give the fan a bit of a better clean reassemble the machine So we'll start on the heatsink side. We'll just get a little bit of IPA and our cotton bud. Try and get that as much of that back as we can. Liquid metal is a devil's work. It's great for keeping your consoles cool. It's also great at killing your consoles. With a big drop, this stuff is not ideal. It goes everywhere and because it's liquid, you can put two and two together and come up with shorts everywhere. Having said that, the PS5 does have several safety measures on this gasket it's like a a one-way street so liquid metal can't really get in unless the seal on that gasket is broken so we'll just try and push as much as we can of that liquid metal back onto the heatsink we use conductor or thermal grizzly liquid metal please for the love of god be careful with this stuff a little goes a long way And then what we tend to do is just use a needle to 
Let's move that around, make sure that dry spot is covered. That's more than enough. We also have liquid metal on the heatsink side. We'll get that board back into place. And let's go for the reassembly. Whilst I'm putting this back together, if you like the video, please hit that thumb. If you didn't like the video, hit the, um, the thumbs down. Let us know what you're feeling, what you're thinking. If you really like the video, please drop a comment below. Um, let us know what you'd do differently, uh, whether you've done this yourself, how difficult you found it. Just say hello, we don't mind. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so and hit the bell. If you like the video and you're subscribing, you'd be interested in what we've got coming up. Hopefully some interesting and varied topics. Only takes you a second, but it really, really helps us to grow as a business and a channel. We are an independent repair company and things are tough at the minute so any interaction we have with you guys really really does help us out so thank you in advance and i'll get back to putting this together What that's telling me is I have a screw here as well. So I just forgot to mark that one up, but that's not the end of the world. Try and get these antennas fed back through. Sometimes works, doesn't always. FW is white, FB is black. Great, this one hasn't moved, so we're at no risk of hurting that cable. This is a common failure point. People rip it up and then when they screw down, this screw post here, this cable wraps just around the front of it, just here. And if it gets moved, psh, that's dangerous. Bring this disk drive back into place. No need to press anything here. Just wait until it clips. Beautiful. Put the customer's SSD back in here. All I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna give this a brush, loosen off a lot of this dust and then give it a blowout and do the same with the fan. There we go. It's a lot cleaner than it was. Same as the fan a lot cleaner than it was. So we get this fan plugged in, get those wires clicked down where they're supposed to be. Try and remember which screw goes where. So that one goes there. That's a small one. The metal one goes in the right hand side. The threads are different, so we know those go there. Ultimately, if they don't go in smoothly, they're not right. 
back in with this connector. Now we're back together to a point where we can fully test. So I'll get my HDMI, it's a nice solid connection. I'll get my power, wait for that to go to a white light. It's on a white light. We have a display, just sync up a controller. There we go, just wait for this to run through what it wants to do. See if we can get this connected to the internet. I don't want to connect because I don't want to update. If the customer doesn't want this updated, um, we'll just check video output resolution at 2160p. That's great. Set that back to automatic. Great, that repair seems to be complete. Uh, that's fantastic. That went as well as it could go. Uh, I have actually been recording for an hour. So this will probably get condensed down into maybe 15, 20 minutes. But the reality is it takes a lot longer than you see on the screen, uh, especially to do a good job. And I'm not finished yet. I've got to get this back together get in touch with the customer and do the handover and make sure they're happy as well. Again, if you like what you saw, please do let us know. If you didn't like what you saw, let us know. And until the next one, take care of yourselves and each other.